Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Well, it's been mostly dark and rainy all morning. Clouds are just trying to lift, not being the best of a solar condition, but we are charging to some degree, so that's really good. But been pretty wet. Liquid sunshine. We'll take it. Need the water. Always need the water. So earlier this morning I was talking with a friend who is uh, new to lithium iron phosphate batteries and has just dropped some in in his own system and we were talking about uh, floating these and setting his charge controller and what that really means with lithium iron phosphate. So here we have this uh, Time USB 12.8-volt, uh, 200 amp-hour lithium iron phosphate battery. It is in float right now, as you can see on the battery monitor. I am at 100% charge. It's full. This is the second day that it has been like that. And I will show you what that looks like with the charge controller uh, settings and, and how that operates in the float mode. So, yeah, this battery is completely full in preparation for an upcoming uh, demonstration on its discharge. And we're going to see if this uh, lives up to its 230 amp hour capacity, which that's what it states that it does. It says 200 amp hours but there's 230 amp hour available on this particular battery. So anyway, it's been charging up absolutely fine. No problems whatsoever. Past couple of days, it's just been sitting here at 100% full. And I'll show you what that looks like on the controller uh, app for Victron. But anyway, this is a little power station that I'm using for charging batteries. I've showed you how this was all put together and what components are used. And let me crawl over to the charge controller. So the charge controller on this particular charging station is the uh, Victron Energy Smart Solar Charge Controller, the MPPT7515. It only has 200 watts of solar panels hooked into it. Uh, for this charging station, I don't need to charge any faster. I can be patient with these batteries. Just put them in here when they need to charge. I move them around to various applications and also to show you guys uh, some uh, various tests that we're going to perform on this. So right there, that green light on the charge controller is the float indicator. And it's been like that all day. So I have now opened up the, the Victron app that shows you for that particular charge controller as well as my other charge controllers exactly what's going on with that battery. So on this one you can see zero watts coming in even though it's not a great charging day I could add more watts if the battery wasn't completely full already. And you can see that it's in float. The current voltage of the battery is 14.1 and it went up to 14.2 for its charge. Now if I go to the history, I'll come up here and I'll press the history part of it. And then this gives me a running look of, of how this thing has been charging. So uh, this is the second day that it has gone into float. Uh, there's the first day right there. And then if on the second day, which was this morning, with zero watts coming in yesterday after it was in float, it, it only went down to 13.69 overnight, which is uh, indicative of a 100% full lithium iron battery. On this particular profile, 
the charge controller takes it up to 14.2, holds it there for a couple of hours as it tapers down the, the solar charge, and then it'll start over again the next day, which is what happened. It started at 13.69, which is already a full battery, uh, and it took it uh, a full 10 watt hours is all before it kicked back into float. And so here it is, that little teeny set of lines right there is just how quick there is no bulk charging going on because it was a full battery. So it just immediately went right back into uh, full absorption and then float very quickly. And if it dropped down to 13.5, which is the float setting, then if it went below that, it would open up the solar panels and let a little bit of a charge in. So this battery could actually be pulled out now and I could uh, put it into my uh, next demonstration, which is what I'm going to do. I have another battery I can switch out that needs a charge, so I'm going to take that uh, Time USB battery out of there because it's not going to receive a single watt of charge. It's never going to dip down to probably below that 1369 again overnight. So it's 100% full. Doesn't really need to be sitting on the charger anymore unless I was going to engage it in some kind of a discharging use like turn the inverter on, start running loads. Then once it got down to uh, below 13.5 it would open up the panels and allow the wattage to hold it at 13.5 or roughly there with its usage. So you might be able to hear in the background now it's raining pretty hard, very dark. No solar hitting those panels right now but anyways I was trying to uh, tell my friend earlier this morning uh, the float, you know we really don't float lithium iron phosphate I know a lot of you just charge it up full and then turn your system off and let it just, you know, be used without a float setting. But I, I leave my float setting on uh, and just use that preset on the Victron charge controllers because it works well. Now if I was to fire, fire this inverter up and plug this into say the refrigerator or freezer or something along those lines, under a discharge uh, it would get down to that 13.5 and allow the panels to kick back uh, up but it doesn't truly truly just like hold it at 13.5 we don't really need to float these but that just gives you a kind of a baseline of how the float works with these I like the uh, Victron uh, preset conditions for lithium iron phosphate Makes it really, really easy. Don't have to think about it too much. Just go with the 14.2 for your absorption. It holds it there for a couple of hours till it takes zero watts to hold it there. Goes into float. And if you're not using it, no more power will come into that battery. Unless you start using it. And then it'll keep it Basically what it's going to try to do is just keep that battery full no matter what you're doing to it on the discharge. Of course most of the discharge here comes at night so it's kind of a moot point. But anyway I hope that gives you guys an idea about the float settings um, on your charge controller and how it keeps your battery at just a constant voltage. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Got the liquid sunshine dripping off the roof today. Just one of those days. Not a great solar day, but most systems are in just great shape. All right. Aloha. Catch you guys later.